Now friends, let's see this question. Further, you can observe that options are very closer to each other, having just difference of 10, 15, something like that. So further, there is no much scope of approximation. Now I just do it. 3.2 into 8.1 plus 3185 by 4.95. In this calculation, uh, 3.2 into 8.1, if I multiply, uh, see there are two decimals. It's, uh, it's, if I eliminate 0.2 and 0.1, so very nominal difference will be there. So that can be managed because options are having the difference minimum of 10, right? So I just can write as, a3s are 24 and because of this uh, 0.2 and 0.2, I, I just take it around as 25 because they would create a very nominal difference. So I just, instead of 24, I'm just writing around 25, right? Now, this is really a tedious calculation that you can see, 3185 and 4.95. Now directly 4.95 cannot be written as 5 and 3185 cannot be written as 3200, uh, 3, right? Because if... Uh, if there is uh, anything wrong in the calculation, will be ending up with the wrong answer, right? Because it's 70 and it's 60, 45, 90 and 85, right? Now what we have to do, we try to approximate both of them, right? Now we can observe that this is 4.95, that's around 5 and it's around 38, uh, 3200, right? Now we have to approximate them in such a way that the percentage impact should be equal on both of them, right? Getting my point? Percentage uh, impact should be equal, right? So if I increase 0 0.05 over here, that's around 5% over here, so the same percentage increase should be over there. Getting my point? Okay, to make it simpler, what I do is I just multiply over here at 100. Now, this is what? 495 and this is 3185 will take care of this 100 afterwards, right? Now, if I'm making an increase of 5 over here, since this is around 8 times or uh, maybe 7 times, between 7 to 8 times, so if I'm making an increase of 5 over here, so I have to make an increase of 5 times 7 or 8 over here, right? That means around uh, 35 to 40. Getting my point, then only the impact or the uh, like uh, this increase will be nullified. Okay, so be very clear about it, right? So what I do is I add 40 over here and 5 over here. So 3185 plus 40 will be 3225 and this will be 500. Okay. Now, the problem becomes very simple and the effect is nullified because we have taken care of percentage increase, right? Now, this is 5, 6 are 30, then 2, 2, 5, 4 are 20, 2, 5, it's 645 plus 25, that will be around 670, okay? So, we have an option as 670 and that will be really correct because we haven't reduced or increased any number drastically, right? So be confident 670 will be the correct choice. And apart from that, whenever you have to increase the number or approximate the number to higher side or lower side, be careful about the percentage increase in the numerator and denominator, right? I have increased 5 over here. That's um, and this 3185 is around 7 to 8 times. So if I am increasing 5 over here, I have to make an increase of 5 times 7 or 8. That's around 35 or 40. Okay. So if you increase 35, no problem. It will be 3220. Then on also you'll be getting something 640, uh, 644 something. So it won't uh, create much difference. Getting my point? Uh, if you're not clear for the first time, just uh, uh, watch the video once again. Okay and try to calculate on your own on your paper and pen, with your paper and pen.